This uh, is called York Road. It's from around 1906. We don't actually know uh, whether it was really used at the real York Road, which is on the Piccadilly line, or in fact whether it was a demonstrator. We think it was a demonstrator uh, from Westinghouse Braking Signal Company who had their London offices in York Road. Um, as you can clearly see from here, it is a single line and obviously on the underground, if trains all go in one direction, we won't have any to come back. So this is another reason why we think it's a demonstrator. On the London Underground, as opposed to the main line, the signal uh, track circuits um, are shown illuminated. And when a train comes along, they go out um, and go dark. And as each one is occupied, it shows a train moving along. I can demonstrate that. There's a train coming along now on A track, moves to B track. And in fact, we'll now stay there at signal number two until we clear the signal. We can do that by reversing this lever and signal number two will clear to an amber aspect because signal three and four are at danger. OK, so the train has now moved into the platform and we can, uh, in fact, reverse this lever, put that back into the frame. Now we need to make a decision about which way the train to go, either down the branch line or the main line. If we decide that we wanted to go down the branch line, signal three would need to be cleared, but due to the interlocking underneath here, we can't move that. The reason we can't move that is that we need to move operate the points. <coughs> we pull these to the middle position, we will see the light go out. When we get to the reverse position, this light should go on to prove that the points in fact have moved to the reverse position, which they have. We can now operate signal number three. That's gone to green and the lights on the signal have now indicated to the driver that the train will be taking the left-hand route. The train moves off and <coughs> for safety reasons um, I'm unable to put that lever back into the frame until the train has in fact cleared E-track. That's now released the lock and I can now put the points back to normal.